After five years at the Mayo Clinic, Manu Nair and his team now share Oklahoma City's biotech story globally. I've had several occasions where I travel across the country and I sit down and talk about Oklahoma Medical Research Foundation or even the biotech cluster here in Oklahoma City. People in the East and West Coast who are oblivious to uh, what's happening here. Not because of the quality of the research, but because of the lack of focus in the middle part of the country. And one thing that I realized is that we have to proactively tell that story. I'm Manu Nair, and I am the Vice President of Technology Ventures for the Oklahoma Medical Research Foundation, OMRF. I lead a department that is geared towards taking basic research inventions to commercialize those and benefit patients and bring those technologies to market. One thing that we have done is to go out there, put ourselves with our team out there in the East and West Coast, where the, the investors and where the, uh, the, the uh, biotech cluster is, to let other people know that we have been successful. So telling the story about Oklahoma and its biotech infrastructure, biotech culture, and also the, the institutions like YMRF that actually do excellent work is what I think is important in my role. I had a conversation with a, a friend of mine in a big pharmaceutical company who moved from Stanford to uh, the pharmaceutical company and we were chatting and he was telling me that Oklahoma and Kansas are probably the place where I am sleeping when I'm in a flight. And I said, you know, I can wake you up and I tell you the story of Selexis. That's what I told him. And he said, Selexis was actually your a company from Oklahoma and from OMRF. Yes. Selexis is a, is a huge story because Novartis purchased Selexis. Novartis saw that phase two clinical trials for Selexis showed its remarkable effect against sickle cell disease with results cited as spectacular. We have been able to create big wins. If you look at Alexion, for example, that is a big, big, big win. It is a company that went from two people as a startup to a $30 billion company. Now, the stock is traded in public. And that is the ear perking, uh, you know, name that investors uh, just get this jolt when you say, oh, Lexion was from, from Oklahoma? Yes. That creates that immediate attention that you're, you're looking for. Alexion Pharmaceuticals is best known for Soliris. An OMRF technology was the source of Soliris, FDA approved in 2007 to treat the rare blood disease PNH. Another one is Crescendo Biosciences. It was purchased by Myriad Genetics for $270 million. And it's a diagnostic company, which was started in OMRF. It was housed in University Research Park, they became successful and they got purchased. So that's another big story. The company's product, Vector DA, was launched in 2010 to measure disease activity and treatment response in rheumatoid arthritis patients, a major breakthrough. There was another company that probably started the whole sequence of events in Oklahoma for biotech successes. It's called Novozyme. Novozyme was the company that brought the orphan disease, rare disease treatment business into the forefront. It was acquired by Genzyme, and Genzyme established an operation in the research park at the time because of that purchase. That is the first event in my mind that triggered all the subsequent successes. Designed to treat the metabolic disorder Pompe disease, approval for the drug was sought through the FDA's orphan drug program for rare diseases. France's largest drug maker, Sanofi, later acquired Genzyme. Progentech is the latest of OMR startup companies, which is a diagnostic company that can predict disease activity and flare in lupus patients. Of course, the synergies between OMRF, the University of Oklahoma, and OU Medical Center help propel this campus in countless ways. The Stevenson Cancer Center is a huge plus for translating cancer-based therapeutics that are being discovered here. OU scientists add their own breakthroughs, like a synthetic form of the blood thinner, heparin, that holds promise in a host of areas, from cancer to biomaterials and drug delivery. 
Molecularo Labs, based at University Research Park, pioneered answers to PANDAS, a set of psychiatric symptoms in children that confounded physicians. Parents have pioneered PANDAS Awareness Day in states across the U.S. And the University of Oklahoma Biomedical Engineering College brings us the promise of better materials. Sales to the biggest drug makers are biotech's traditional definition of success, but new collaborations pairing drug makers and academia offer another exciting avenue for life-changing science. Our recent work targeting Sjogren's syndrome has sparked a collaboration with Biogen, and our findings on stopping organ failure in acute conditions won a coveted collaboration with GlaxoSmithKline. So that's another big story. It all proves the promise in this rising biotech campus.